the radios are set. Um, engines running. We have Zulu. Both flaps are up. Beacons on. Radios are set. Avionics are set. Transponder is set to end in altitude mode. We got the ATIS. We got the altimeter set. Taxi lay is required and brakes will test on the way out here. We're going to taxi down to 2-3 uh, for a southbound departure. Fairmont traffic, Skyhawk 385, two Lima's taxiing uh, from the fuel to runway 23, Fairmont. We'll get our timer going here. We're going to do this with minimal um, iPad usage. Um, we are going to fly our headings that we've pre-prescribed prescribed here and also use our VOR navigation um, to get where so that's 200 205 is what I'm saying and Fairmont traffic Skyhawk 385 2 Lima crossing runway 523 Fairmont Hey, we're clear right. We're clear left. Best I can tell. Yeah, Fairmont traffic, 3852 Lima clear, 523 Fairmont. All right. We'll come up here, do our run-up, and uh, we'll be off to Lewisburg. Before takeoff, flight controls free and correct. Let's up, up, down. Elevator's up. That side comes up. My side goes down. Elevator is down. There's left rudder. There's right rudder. Free and correct. Flight instruments are correct. Elevator trim is set for takeoff. Let's uh, check the mags here. We'll go full rich for the run up. Air 1700 RPM. There's the left mag, it's about, now let's see, that's like a 200 RPM drop. Let's come back and try that again. 1700. Ah, that one's a little rough actually. We may have to burn that one off. Let's check the other mag. Yeah, that's more what you expect. So we're fouled on the left mag, so what we do there is we lean this pretty aggressively. There's EGT's coming up. Then we'll run this up to like 2,000 RPM. And let it run for 60 seconds or so and try to burn off some of that carbon deposit on that one spark plug. Let's see if that did the trick. Go rich again. 1700. Left mag. Yep, I did it. Back to both. Right mag. Back to both. Suction is good. No generator light. Back, uh, check carb heat. There's the drop. Idle check. 
It runs. Heartbeat's in. Lean. Okay. Run up complete. Run up is complete. Flaps are up. Speed of heat's not required. Radios are verified set. Um, the next uh, frequency we'll call up top will be uh, Clarksburg Approach. I don't know if it's 119 or .6 or not. We'll try. Okay. All right. Uh, transponders now to mode. Doors and windows closed and locked. Seats and seatbelts secured. And we'll make a normal takeoff uh, to the south. Mixture to go once we get out on the runway. And Fairmont Traffic, Skyhawk 3852 Lima now taking runway 23. Uh, we're making a straight out departure to the south. Fairmont Traffic. Okay. Fuel selectors on both. Trim is set for takeoff. Flaps are up. We're clear left. We're clear to the right. We use all the runway we have. We'll do a static run up here once we're, once we're lined up. Use every inch of available runway. Okay, feet are on the brakes. Going full rich. Power's coming in nice and easy. That is uh, 2,300 RPM, so an engine instruments are in the green, so we'll go ahead and come off the brakes and we'll apply right rudder. Airspeed's alive, it's 40. There's 50. Here's 60, we pull it off. Accelerate to VX. And we're flying. Engine looks good. Right rudder. Engine's good. And found my traffic, Skyhawk 3852 Lehman now climbing uh, through 1,600 departure like runway 23, making a straight out, straight out departure to the south, found my traffic. And Clarksburg approach, Skyhawk 3852 Lima via by request. Approach, three zero one two and St. Engines. Three zero one two and an ident. Uh, 352 Lima is a one seventy two slant India just off of Fairmont Airport, climbing through two thousand. Like to pick up a VFR flight following to Lewisburg Airport at six thousand five hundred. to Lima, Roger, Squawk, um, correction, uh, disregard all the Squawk code for you shortly. 5 to Lima. Three eight five to Lima, you are radar contact six miles north of uh, the Clarksburg Airport. Maintain VFR. We're having a problem with their system. I'll get a code for you as soon as I can. No problem. Maintain VFR. 385 to Lima. I need to be navigating now, so I should be flying at 205. I need to be flying direct to the uh, 
Clarksburg VOR, which is my first waypoint uh, along my route. I'm also not timing, so we'll start that the next time. So if I fly a 2-0-0. Two, zero, zero. Two, four, three, zero, Charlie Morgan, Town Airport, 12 o'clock, one zero miles, by Hill in sight. Uh, let's see here, one twelve six. We're nine, nine miles. All right, I'm going to transition now to a uh, to a little fat, a little uh, faster airspeed, lower um, lower pitch angle climb. There's the Clarksburg Airport. So I need to fly like a two. 205 heading, I think. All right, the next waypoint after that, we'll get our timer going here. Will be W22 off the left. So we'll make a we'll make a heading change to 221. 430 Charlie, contact Morgantown Tower 125.1. Good day. After we cross the VOR. We'll be turning to 221. And uh, we'll get a stopwatch ready for that. Because I have calculated to uh, W22, it should take uh, seven and a half minutes. Clarksburg uh, Airport off the left. 3852 Lima, be advised we're having uh, some issues with our equipment and, and uh, can't, I, might be able, I might not be able to provide uh, route VFR services uh, further along on your route. I might have to uh, terminate you and you can contact Charleston along your route to get further flight following. Okay, no problem, uh, 3852 Lima. I'll, I'll continue monitoring your frequency for now. You can stay with me now. I can't give you any type of a beacon code or anything. And then as you get out of my airspace, I'll have to uh, uh, terminate your services and you can contact somebody else as the further along you go. Five Lima, Roger. Interesting. All right, engine's looking good. Bombing through 5,000. All right, we are... Um, Very near the Clarksburg VOR. Less than two miles. So that's probably mostly our altitude. Uh, and a little bit still in front of us. So as soon as, I mean as soon as, um, as soon as I cross it, we'll make our, uh, we'll make our right hand turn to 221 and start the, start the clock. start a turn. I'm going to start the clock. This is going to be off uh, because I had anticipated being at our cruise altitude by this point. So my my uh, my speed that I predicted this leg of the route to be is um, is incorrect. So um, I've started the timer anyway. We'll see just how far. At 281 Clarksburg approach, Clarksburg altimeter 3012. Expect visual approach runway 18 Morgantown. We'll see how far off it was. Six seven six Juliet, Mike, say destination one more time for me. So our next waypoint um, is the city of uh, the airport at Upshur County Juliet, and the Mike city Roger, of thank you. off the left. Let's. Uh, we should have opened our flight plan. Dag on it. That's you, 81, send me 18, uh, 5,000. Ago. So, uh, 1403 Zulu. Let's see if we can do this. We'll transmit. 1, 2,000 feet. Temperature 1, niner, 2.15. Uh, hazardous weather information for West Virginia and surrounding areas. We have high loss flight service frequencies. Advise us to contact you have Zulu. 1, 2, 2, 1. 
so that's where we'll call them. 676, Juliet Mike, we're just having an, uh, an issue with our equipment for information on you. I understand your uh, destination is Alpha Romeo Romeo. Are you currently direct the destination, or uh, is there a fix in between, and one twelve type aircraft? There it is. Elkins Radio, Elkins Radio, Skyhawk, November 3852 Lima. Uh, 676 Julia, Mike, Roger, thank you for that, and I have nothing at this time. Aircraft calling Elkins Radio, say it again, which frequency you're receiving, please. Roger, Elkins Radio, it's November 3852 Lima, uh, we're receiving over the uh, Clarksburg VOR. Three eight five two Lima. This is Elkins Radio. Dead, please. Uh, Three eight five two Lima. We'd like to uh, open or activate our uh, filed VFR flight plan with a time off, a time off of fourteen o three Zulu en route to Lewisburg. All right. Three eight five two Lima. Understand requesting for activation at one four zero three Zulu, sir. We'll show that active long route through destination Lewisburg. Well, What's you your current location? Continue on the four thousand two hundred Clark Correction Morgantown Airport, twelve o'clock one seven miles. Uh, we are currently seven miles to the southwest of Clarksburg Airport, 6,400, climbing 6,500. Air 5 2 Lima, sir, understood. Clarksburg altimeter 3011. Be advised along route I'm showing MS effects for IFR conditions and mountain obstruction. Details available upon request. You can give us a call arrival to Lewisburg with that closure. We appreciate you. Take care. Roger, thank you. Uh, 3852 Lima. Okay. Let's level off here at our cruise altitude. 6,500 AGL. I mean, uh, MSL. And uh, let's get established here at our 2,500 RPM ish. Um, At 281, Morgantown Airport, 12 o'clock, 13 miles. At 281, cleared visual approach, runway 18, contact Morgantown Tower, 125, uh, Once we get all uh, leveled out here, we'll lean. We'll go ahead and uh, start leaning here. We're leaning for... Um, with EGT and RPM. We'll be 50 degrees uh, rich of peak, but we've got to get to peak first, so. That's going to be peak. All right. Two. Let's see how we're doing here. Pretty good, actually. We are. Uh, we're tracking pretty good. We could also be on a uh, 212 degree from now. Uh, and it did switch to from, as you can see. 210, 212 from is where we should be. Okay. We're climbing still some, so let's add seven and a half minutes. There's Buchanan. Up here, I see it off my left already. Pretty hazy. We'll record, um, you know, my actual waypoint was um, 
Yeah, it was pretty much directly off the left, so we'll record a time when we get up here. Now we could monitor uh, 122.8. Just because we're nearby, we could listen for any Buchanan traffic. Keep our eyes open. Donegal Spring traffic, skydiver's way, 10 5, 4 canopy, 10 5, look out below, Donegal Spring. Alright, we'll mark this at 9 minutes. Harrison County traffic, 1033 is turning face for runway 31. Harrison. We reset our timer. So our next waypoint should be nine, uh, four and a half minutes. Um, a marina on our right side. County traffic, 1033 is turning final for runway 31, Harrison. All right, so the next thing we're going to do at the marina, we're just going to keep on this same uh, track uh, from the Clarksburg VOR. Go back to our clock. I bet we missed the marina. We've got 5028, close for departure, radar contact. Turn left on course, climb, maintain 8,000. Yeah, there was the marina. So it was right about on time. Um, let's reset. And rate that down. Next is going to be overflying the... Uh, Braxton County Airport. Yeah, directly overflying Braxton County, and that should happen in about nine minutes. Now, I see the clouds ahead um, that appear to be in our line of flight. So we may have to climb to get over them. Three eight five two Lima cycle transponder squawk seven four four two. Seven four four two three five two Lima. Or four five eight eight Julia Cars Trigger Pro Squad Scout Center three zero one one. I believe I see the field. Verify to limit, just to verify you are going at direct Lewisburg. We're, uh, yeah, we're, our destination is Lewisburg, but we're going to overfly uh, Summersville Lake first. We're trying to just stay west of the, uh, of the terrain and come in from uh, the west. Verify to Lima. Verify to Lima, Roger. Three eight five two Lima, contact Charleston approach one one nine point two. One one nine point two three eight five two Lima. Good day. Center Cherokee November five 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 nine three. Cherokee five 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 no nine three Charleston approach Charleston three zero zero nine. Three zero zero nine. Thank you. Five Charleston approach. Good morning, Skyhawk three eight five two Lima. 6,600. Skyhawk 3852 Lima, Charleston approach, Charleston 3 0 9 0 9 We're going to remain uh, right of these clouds and then hang a left. We are uh, we're pretty far off course.
see some clouds behind them as well. Uh, so if it's uh, better check the weather at uh, better check the weather at Summersville and at uh, Lewisburg and see what their current ceilings are. Sky clear at Lewisburg. Beckley, sky clear. Everybody's reporting clear skies. So this must just be a little patch here that we can get around. Also, one thing we don't, I don't really say on here a lot, but it, it just kind of goes without saying is that when I'm not doing some other task like instrument in, engine instrument scanning or instrument scans or working radios, um, I'm always looking for other traffic. I mean, that's, that's the default mode when you're not doing another task with your eyes is to be scanning the area for other traffic. And I, I don't know about this. SF655, Julie, Charles, Coach, Charles, Malta, Bridge, 3010. And approach uh, Scott 385 Julian. We're gonna we're gonna climb uh, to 8500. We're trying to get above uh, some clouds here and get a look around a little bit further to the east uh, towards my destination to see what the cloud situation is. Uh, that's why I've, I'm so far uh, west of my course, Scott Julian. Uh, uh, five two Lima Roger via four climb Five two Lima. get on up to like 8,500 and get an idea. I mean, we are, we're, you know, 20 miles off course. And, um, See if we can get up. Maybe 8,500 will do. Um, we got to start turning in towards our destination, and then hope it's clear over there. If not, we have a significant amount of reserve fuel, so we'll we'll find an alternate where we can get down through. I'm going to go 8,500 through here. I think. Just take a look over here and see. Let's go ahead and tune in the Raynell VOR. 116.6. Let's do it on the bottom one. And uh, let's just go direct there. It's going to be like a uh, 2... Uh, traffic of uh, your one to two o'clock in about three miles, same direction. Uh, so I'm out of 7,500 for 8,500 VFR Skyhawk. All right, 398, I'll be watching for them. So we want to fly heading of uh, 175. Check you seven six one Bravo Fox Drop Charles approach Charles Alta three zero one zero. Three zero one zero one Bravo Charles information golf current Alta three zero one zero.
Got all five through Lima traffic, catch you at three o'clock, same direction, uh, Skyline, uh, level at 8,000. Looking for the traffic, uh, five to Lima. Skyline 61398, traffic's no factor. Skyline 398, roger. All right. Well, this is a good lesson, just in general, that um, things don't always go to plan, and sometimes you have to call an audible. And, um, you know, we, we've done that successfully. navigated around the clouds we'll uh, we'll see what the cloud situation is at our destination it's going to be a little more tricky uh, because we won't be able to just descend uh, through a hole maybe if we find it to get under them because the terrain elevation over there is significantly uh, higher so we're just going to have to see when we get there what the status is so and we will and we'll make a wise decision on how to proceed from there. One decision at a time. For now, I'm going to lean the engine. Oh, nope, 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 nope. That is about it, I believe. All right. It looks good. We are uh, direct to Summersville, and then once we come through the Summersville Airport, Summersville Lake Airport, we'll be turning left slightly to the uh, Raynell VOR, which I have should be a heading up, and here it is. Of 175, once we come through there. So it'll be a little left then another left so we're going to kind of go back that way uh, towards Lewisburg. Charles so good morning, Blue 653 is at 11.8 leveling off at 10,000 with Zulu. Blue 5313, Charles approach, Charles on 33010, turn 15 degrees right, vector for visual runway 23 approach. 15 degrees right, vector visual runway 23, and also uh, it was uh, leveling off at 11,000. Summersville, the lake is directly off our nose. Roger. Um, the airport also, I think, is also now too close to sea. Skyline 398, contact Washington Center 134.4. Four. 34.4 for 398. All right, we're going to fly direct to the uh, right now VOR. Now looking like a 1, like 171 heading. We'll go ahead and start turning that now. Let's go ahead and also put it in uh, Skyhawk 5 2 Lima contact Washington Center 134.4. 34 4 for 5 2 Lima, good day. Washington Center, good morning, Skyhawk 385 2 Lima 8600. Shuttle 60 Washington, Center, Dulles, Altimeter 3009. November 3, 5, 2, Lima, were you checking in as well? 8, 5, 8, 5, 2, Lima. November 5, 2, Lima, thank you. Uh, Lewisburg, Altimeter 3015. 3015, 5, 2, Lima. Alright, let's start thinking about Lewisburg. Um, let's get the weather there, 121.4. Let's go ahead and tune that in. Here. Good 
weather observation. One, five, zero, seven, Zulu, weather, wind, calm, visibility, one, zero, clear, below, one, two, thousand, temperature, two, two, Celsius, two point, one, five, altimeter, three, zero, one, four, remark, density, altitude, three, thousand, four, hundred. Greenbrier Valley Airport. Air shuttle 629 Zulu weather. Wind. Calm. Visibility. One. Zero. Clear. Air was 3908. I believe you were checking in as well. You got blocked. Affirmative. Mail was 3908. 7900 climbing. 107. Air was 3908. Ronald Altimeter 3013. Maintain 17,000. 17,000, Wisconsin 3908. Cherokee, 756 Romeo. We'll do the rest of our navigating here by um, the bottom of the November 472 Delta Sierra. And um, we'll have our checklist ready. We're going to make a left hand turn here over the VOR. On board, 3655, check it in, 2063, descending 250. All right, we're coming up on our last uh, navigation Air Wisconsin 4816, contact the stomach clerk, someone 20.45. Before we turn, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set my, um, it should be roughly a 126 heading to, to the VOR, so let's see what it comes to. November 472, Delta Sierra, squawk 3631. Showing a 120 heading. 115. And over two Delta Sierra, what altitude are you going to be cruising at? On board 47 degree, Washington Center, Roger, shoulders, I'll come at a 3009. And 3852 Lima has Lewisburg in sight. 752 uh, Lima, Roger, radar services are terminated. Squawk VFR, you can contact Tower, 118.9. Okay, Squawk and VFR, and over to Tower, 3852 Lima, have a great day. Lewisburg Tower, good morning, Skyhawk 3852 Lima, 10 miles to your west, inbound, uh, full stop. 352 Lima, let's protect runway 4, you're clear to land, the uh, wind's 230 at 3, altimeters 3015. 3015 cleared to land, runway 4, 52 Lima. Got a lot of altitude. 52 Lima, what's your altitude? Uh, descending uh, from 7,600. 7600. Because of Mooney departing uh, runway 4 at this time, he'll be making a left turn out southwest bound, uh, climbing VFR up to 8000. Uh, he's heading towards Bluefield. Okay, we'll be on the lookout uh, for 529. 46 Mike, uh, Cessna just checked in 10 west, descending out of 7600. We'll be making a left base entry runway 4. If you'd like, you can make a right turn or left turn southwest bound. Your choice. I will make a left hand turn. Thank you. All right, let's run some checklists. Descent, mixture adjust. We'll keep cranking that in every thousand feet or so. Power as desired, car heat is required, it's already on. That's descent checklist. Before landing, seatbelt secured, fuel selectors on both. Mixture will be full rich. Car beats on, airspeed. Flaps as desired, okay. Before landing checklist complete. Okay, position is uh, six miles, pretty much due west, descending through 5,600. Six west, 
north, 56 under Ritter. Right Never saw the guy leave four. Uh, tell him I'm going to turn uh, crosswise across the uh, airport and get out of his way. Four six Mike, correct across the top uh, is approved. And 5-2 uh, Lima, we're currently uh, over Route 60 over here, uh, pretty much a left base uh, for runway 4 at uh, 4,300, 5-2 Lima. 5 Lima, you're still clear to land. That Mooney traffic will be no factor now. He's right over top of the airport. He's going to go across the top and then he'll turn southwest and remain on the east side of the extended center line. Roger, clear to land runway 4, 5-2 Lima. All right, carb heat's in. We're going to set up here for a base. 3300 would be pattern altitude, so we're going to descend through that. Pull the power all the way out. There's pattern altitude. This is a base. Let's get our first notch. 1000. There's our first notch of flaps. 90 knot. Ooh, high. There's some wind for you. Wowza. Mooney traffic is about one mile due south of the airport, and he's going to turn kind of southwest and parallel you. Uh, he's going outbound. Roger, 5 2 Lima, thanks. All right, let's, let's fly this smart. Mooney 4 6 Mike, that uh, Cessna is off to your right, and he looks like he's well below you, no factor there. Yeah, we have him inside, 4 6 Mike. All right, mixture's going full rich, second notch of flaps. There's 20 degrees, keep the descent coming. We're a little low now, so let's add a little power. A little power, 85, boy, it's bumpy. Let's turn final. Coordinated flight. Coordinated flight. Sky is 5054. Let's bring clear to Chicago here. Airport is filed. Climb maintain 7000. Expect flight level 3201. Zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 134.4. Squawk 5647. Over. Selector flaps. All right, let's start pitching for 75 to 80. Third notch. Seventy-five, looking great. Start bringing the power out. Seventy-five. 
All right, car beats going in. Flaps coming. Back five, Chin Lima, you can make a 180 on the runway and back taxi to, to Delta. All right, we'll make a 180 and uh, off at Delta, five, two, Lima. Five, two, Lima, Roger. right on Delta, left on Alpha. Taxi to the ramp, there's a lady parking here right in front of the tower. Sounds great, thanks, five, two, Lima, sorry for that, show. He landed me with a four knot tailwind. I mean, that's part of it, because they like to use four. But, so that's a time off of what? 11, so 1530 Zulu.